10 times Penn and Teller got totally fooled. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. Penn and Teller started doing magic together all the way back in the 70s. Decades of perfecting their craft prepared them to easily find flaws in tricks performed by less experienced magicians. They took their passion for debunking other tricksters to a whole new level with their hit show Penn and Teller Fool Us. Despite their unobstructed view, rigorous attention, and decades of experience with the standard moves of magicians, this epic duo isn't always able to figure out what's happening on the stage. Putting a lot of energy into working out the methods of contestants doesn't mean they'll always get it right. Dozens of illusionists, mentalists, and close-up magicians managed to leave them wondering, and secured a spot on their famous Las Vegas show. Let's take a look at 10 times Penn and Teller got totally fooled. Before before we reveal the most impressive participants who managed to trick the magic legends with one of their acts, make sure to subscribe to our channel and witness even more enchanting TV moments every day. Number 10. Nathan Fan. Balloons are real magic. And if you don't believe me, next time you see a wee child, give them a floating, shiny balloon. Nathan Fan, who introduced himself as Magic Asian Man, tried to fool the two experts with nothing more but a balloon. He described balloons as the real magic because they bring joy to little kids everywhere. Fan brought a bag filled with blue balloons and took one of them out so he could blow it up. The magician quickly stayed out of breath and used an inhaler before he kept on going. The rest of the trick consisted of Fan seemingly moving the balloon with his mind or preventing it from flying away. The audience found his delivery extremely humorous and laughed a couple of times, especially when he kissed the balloon at the end of the act and let it go. Stars of the show were impressed by his performance and told Fan it's unlike anything they've seen before. Penn even admitted that he thought they're going to tank, but eventually figured out how he did it. Famous magicians didn't share any details, so they wouldn't ruin the trick for everyone else. Number 9. Richard Turner So the card stays as the second card kind of melts through the deck. Here's one hand. Despite being completely blind, Richard Turner is renowned for being one of the world's greatest card magicians. He proved to be worthy of that title during his appearance on Fool Us, where he deceived two of the most famous debunkers in the world of magic. Penn and Teller joined him at the table and watched closely as he shuffled cards and performed his signature tricks. By the time the popular card mechanic was over, the stars of the show didn't even bother to get off stage. Instead of giving host Allison Hannigan a chance to do her usual usual short interview with the contestant, they stuck around and immediately delivered their verdict. Instead of going back and forth like they usually do, Penn and Teller gave the trophy to Turner right away. He was just that good. Number 8. Chris Rose You can have the money. No thanks. <laughs> A cookie is all it takes to stick it to two of the greatest magical masterminds in the world, or at least it was during Chris Rose's act. His routine consisted of several impressive tricks, but he wouldn't have been able to impress the audience if it wasn't for an Oreo, which was front and center for his whole gimmick. Rose asked Teller and the host, Allison Hannigan, to join him on stage and repeat the moves he was making. He promised them $100 each if they successfully completed the task, and they seemed pretty confident. The trio put a cookie in their mouths, chewed it up, swallowed it, and drank a glass of milk. Teller and Allison stopped repeating performers' moves once he started spitting out milk and removing intact cookies from his mouth. After Rose was done with the routine, the guys tried to figure out how he did it, but came up with nothing. Number 7. Shin Lim We didn't even know how you vanished the Marker. Card magic can be pretty bland these days, but not when Shim Lim is the one performing it. This sleight of hand artist proved magic doesn't have to be silly to be entertaining by delivering one of the most memorable and chilling tricks ever in the long history of Fool Us. Shin Lim was literally on fire during his stunning act, which was a perfect mix between his two big passions music and magic. The way he choreographed all his moves with the song playing in the background was the very definition of perfection, and it has to be seen to be fully appreciated. Everyone in the room was blown away by his performance, including Penn and Teller, 
They were extremely impressed by his routine because it consisted of many bits and pieces, and they all worked in a perfect harmony. The famous duo had some ideas about the way Shim Lim pulled off some of them, but they were fooled by his act as a whole. Number 6. Nick Einhorn no, okay, one. Still table number one. Yeah. Excellent. All right. That leaves the final one, which has to go... Uh, to table number three. When Nick Einhorn climbed the stage of the popular magic competition show, three tables and three covered dishes were already there. The audience found out why in a few minutes. British mentalist asked a random woman from the audience to decide where he should place the dishes. He followed her directions and asked her for another favor, to pick three random men from the audience. She then assigned each of them with an envelope of a different color and chose which table each man would sit at. When they opened the envelope, something unbelievable happened. Each of them contained a little piece of paper that correctly guessed not only their names, but also the dishes they were served. When it was Penn and Teller's time to speak, the two experts had to admit that they had no clue what was going on. They believed Einhorn's choice of audience members was truly random, and that was the only thing that could explain this amusing trick. Number 5. Jibreezy Now, this next trick, I like to call Sweet Penetration. Jabrizi Taylor was 13 when he was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, a rare medical condition that forced him to spend the next two years inside. He used this time to practice magic in his room and started sharing his tricks online after perfecting the craft. During his appearance on Fool Us, Jabrizi proved that you can deliver a great performance with the most basic of props. The self-professed hip-hop illusionist used a deck of cards, a pencil, and a pen during the first part of his act but later proved that he needed even less to dazzle the audience. Jabrizi pulled out several packs of sugar bags and a coin and asked the host, Allison Hannigan, to write an X on the dime. He then took the coin from the Buffy star and somehow managed to transport it into a closed sugar packet. Penn suggested the young magician use sleight of mouth to pull it off, but it turned out that they were wrong once again. Number 4. Wes Barker On the count of three! <laughs> You're kidding me. Wes Barker used the term stunt magic to describe his act, but it wasn't as dangerous as that term might suggest. It can also feature a bunch of comedic moments, especially when you have an utterly useless assistant. That's exactly what Barker found in the host Jonathan Ross, who did more harm than good while helping him out. A couple of minor setbacks which occurred because Ross didn't follow the instructions didn't stop this stunt magician from deceiving Penn and Teller. Barker's routine consisted of him ripping apart a phone book, having Ross throw the pages in the air, stabbing a single page with a sword, and revealing it's the page Ross previously selected. Penn and Teller had a couple of ideas how the trick could have been done, but it turned out Barker didn't use any of them. Number 3. Sean Farquhar Once the card's been signed, we'll recap. Okay. That's the pen. Why? Oh, <laughs> it's the joke. If I go through... Magic is pretty much a part of Sean Farquhar's DNA, since his father, grandfather, and great-grandfather all practiced the craft. Before appearing on Fool Us, this fourth-generation trickster already won the World Championship in card magic. As soon as he climbed the stage, the audience immediately assumed he's going to fool Penn and Teller, but they just wanted to see how. Farquhar created an illusion of a signed card appearing reversed inside a brand new deck of cards. But that's not even the most impressive part of his trick. Penn was on stage the whole time and had an opportunity to watch him perform up close. By the time the trick was over, he was as lost as everyone in the audience. Legendary magicians couldn't figure out how the hell Farquhar did it, despite standing by his side from the very start. Number 2. Adam Wilbur Oh, oh, there's no window in there. At the very beginning of his routine, Adam Wilbur said he's doing magic for the money, and it turned out that he wasn't joking. His whole trick consisted of him changing coins and banknotes into coins and banknotes of bigger value. Everyone in the studio was impressed, including a man from the audience Wilbur used as his sidekick. He wrote his name on a $1 bill and walked away with 100 bucks after the magician transformed the banknote with his signature on the back. 
Wilbur described his journey to becoming a magician and a few tiny secrets behind coin tricks during his performance, but that didn't hurt him one bit. By the time he was done, Penn and Teller were completely deceived by his act. It seemed like they're going to figure it out, but after they've looked into Wilbur's magical case, they couldn't find anything that would compromise him and had to admit that they were fooled. Number 1. Kostya Kimlat And he looked at it, and he thought about it, and you fooled him! You fooled Penn often gets annoyed after being cheated by other magicians, but no one pissed him off as much as Kostya Kimlat. His trick consisted of shuffling cards in many different ways, with the magician duo serving as his little helpers. Penn and Teller had a front row seat the entire time, but carefully looking at the cards didn't make a difference. By the time Kimlat shuffled the messy deck for one last time, the cards previously picked by the epic duo were the only ones facing up. When Penn and Teller returned to their seats, they went back and forth trying to make sense of it, but came up empty. Penn was fuming with rage while delivering his verdict, and told Kimlat he hated him from the very first moment he walked in. He even threw a bunch of cards right at his face after congratulating him for outsmarting them. But it was all in good fun. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content, and don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.